1300 hundred hours pakistan standard time assalamu alaikum this is radio pakistan the news read by aisha nayab first the headlines prime minister says remittances from abroad have reached record level of 2.7 billion dollars in july this year Chairman Senate says Pakistan and Saudi Arabia enjoy cordial relations and always stood with each other in every difficult time. In Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir, three Indian forces personnel were killed in an attack on a joint patrolling party in Baramulla district today. In Afghanistan, three Taliban have been killed in clashes with government forces in the eastern Pawan province. And now the news in detail. Prime Minister Imran Khan has said remittances from overseas Pakistanis reached $2,768 million in July this year, which is the highest ever amount in one month in the history of Pakistan. Sharing a good news about Pakistan economy in a tweet today, he said this is 12.2% increase over the month of June this year and 36.5% increase over July last year. Chairman Sanat Sadiq Sanjarani says Pakistan and Saudi Arabia enjoy cordial relations and they have always stood with each other in every difficult time. He was talking to Saudi Ar- ambassador to Pakistan who called on him at Parliament House Lamba today. They discussed important issues including bilateral relations. The chairman said the two countries always work in consultation on international issues and problems. He said Pakistani parliament, especially the upper house, reiterates its commitment that no sacrifice will be spared for the protection of the holy places in the kingdom. The chairman said we can never forget Saudi Arabia standing by Pakistan in every difficult time. The chairman said Pakistan can never recognize Israel. A six-member committee has been constituted to address the issues of Karachi City. The committee comprises members of Pakistan Tehreek and Saaf, Pakistan People's Party and Mutahida Qaumi Movement Pakistan. Spokesman of Sindh Government, Murtaza Wahab, has said that the Chief Minister Sindh, Sayyid Murad Ali Shah, is the chairman of the committee, while Asad Umar Ali Haider Zaidi and Aminul Haq from the Federal Government and Sayyid Nasir Hussain Shah and Sayyid Ghani will represent Sindh Government. Minister for Information and Broadcasting Senator Shibli Faraz says Karachi is economic hub of the country and joining hands by all stakeholders for the betterment of the city is a positive sign. Talking to a private news channel, he said despite having difference of opinion over certain matters, all the political parties should get united over the issue for national interest. The minister said federal cabinet and provincial cabinets of Punjab and Khyber Pakhtunkhwa will present their performance of ongoing tenures before the people tomorrow. He said the government has prepared a plan for bringing institutional reforms. The number of patients recovered from COVID-19 in Pakistan has reached 269,087 after the recovery of 2,786 patients over the last 24 hours. According to the latest statistics, there are now 13,953 active cases in the country. 488 new cases surfaced during the last 24 hours, with seven deaths reported. 22,448 coronavirus tests were carried out during this period. At the D8 conference, Pakistan has stressed the importance of world community and brotherly nations taking steps to alleviate sufferings of the Kashmiri people in Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir. In his interventions at special virtual session, Pakistan's commissioner for D8, Tariq Karim, also urged to promote the realization of inalienable right of self-determination of Kashmiri people. He also apprised the participants of the worsening human rights and humanitarian situation in Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir in the wake of year-long inhumane military siege, communication blackout and egregious violations of human rights. Tariq Karim said despite widespread international condemnation, the Indian occupation forces are continuing to brutalize and disenfranchise the Kashmiris. In Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir, three Indian forces personnel were killed in an attack at a joint patrolling party in Karira area of Baramulla district today. Among those who were killed include two Central Reserve Police Force personnel and a special police officer. 
In Afghanistan, three Taliban have been killed and four other injured in clashes with government forces in Siagar district of the eastern Parwan province. Provincial police said it in a statement that the Taliban launched a massive offensive on security checkpoints but failed after suffering casualties. And that is the end of the news. For more news and analysis, log on to our website radio.gov.pk and also watch live video streaming of our bulletins on the link facebook.com forward slash Radio Pakistan News Official.